Hi, in this tutorial, we will cover how to set up work offsets or zero offsets. We will divide this tutorial into four sections. In first section, we will set up our part zero on the top left corner of the workpiece and store them in our work offset. In the second section, we will set our part zero in the center of the workpiece. In the third section, we will view the whole list of work offsets in the table format. And in the fourth section, we will cover incremental work offsets. Let's get started. Let's make the top left corner of the workpiece as our part zero. We will use edge finder of 0.2 inch diameter. So first I'm going to turn on the spindle, let's say at 500 RPM. Now I'm going to jog my axis. So my edge finder is touching the part from the left side. So since we are touching the part with the radius of the, of the edge finder, that means the center of the tool is off by 100 thou. And since it's on the negative direction, in the negative side of the part, I'm going to preset my X as negative 0.1. So I will press X on the keyboard and enter a value of minus 0.1. And then you press enter. Our X preset is done. But in case if you do not feel comfortable of presetting your axis as a negative 0.1, you can always preset it to zero and then use your hand wheel to move over by 100 thou and then preset it to zero again. It will be the same thing. So now I'm going to move it out and I will repeat the same process for the Y axis as well. So I'm going to jog it along the Y. So now, as you can see, the tool is touching from the back side of the part. And again, our center of the tool is off by 100 thou. And since it's in the positive direction, I will preset my Y to positive 0.1, enter. So it's all preset is done. I'll move it out of the way. And now we will do the same thing for the Z axis as well. But now we have to keep in mind that before we touch the surface of the part, we need to have the tool which is already pre-calibrated for the length because we have to have the right length tool in the spindle in order to touch the surface of the part. So I'm going to call a new tool at this time, let's say tool number four, because this is a pre-calibrated tool, cycle start. So now I have tool number four active. Now I will touch my new tool to the surface of the part. Now you can see the tool is touching on the surface. Now I will preset my Z to zero now. I will press Z on the keyboard, Z selected, we press zero and then enter. So our Z, Z preset is done as well. I will move it out of the way. Now we will store our part zero that we just created into our work offsets or zero offset tables. Now you can see there is an icon on the right side menu offsets. We press that icon it opens up a new window which shows all our work offsets in the control. So you can select any of the work offset you want to use to store the coordinates of the current part zero. So I will select the first one which is G54. CNC allows us up to 99 work offsets. And the first one can be programmed either by programming G54 or you can also program it as G159 is equal to one. So now my first uh, work offset is active. I will press enter on the keyboard and as soon as we press enter See all the new coordinates have been transferred into this data field So your X Y Z these coordinates are automatically populated because the CNC remembers the last preset we performed on on, on the part and these coordinates shows how far our part zero is from the machine home position for each axis. Now, in case we want to activate this work offset, so right now we just stored the values, but we want to activate it. So we can press cycle start while this G54 is selected, cycle start, and it turns into green. That means our G54 is active on the screen now. Your G54 is activated. Now we will locate the center of the workpiece and set that as our new part zero. So I'm going to turn on the spindle first. Now I'm going to jog the axis so it's touching on one end of the part, one side of the part. Now it's touching along the x-axis. I'm going to set 
preset my x as 0 now I will say x 0 enter so our x 0 is set now we will jog our axis to the other end of the path to the other side of the path along the x axis so as going down so now it's touching on the other side of the path and you can see that to travel from one side to the other side the axis has traveled about 5.774 inches that means the half of this distance is where the center of the part is so now we will use uh, our inbuilt calculator to find out the center point to do so I'm going to press X on the keyboard X is highlighted now you can press the calculator key on your keyboard but if you don't have the calculator key you can press Control K that's the shortcut of bringing up the calculator so I'll press the calculator a calculator screen uh, came up on the screen and as you can see the coordinates that were in in the x-axis have been transferred to the calculator so now we will say divide by 2 from the keyboard and you press enter it comes up with the end result which is 2.887 that is exactly half of this coordinates so I'm going to press insert on the keyboard now as soon as you press insert this number will be transferred onto the x-axis coordinates as you see x is 2.887 now we will press enter on the keyboard enter now the we have already determined where the center of the workpiece is similarly we will do the same along the y-axis as well go up now I'm going to do it along the y and I will this is touching on the back side of the part I will make my y0 now y0 enter now we will touch on the other side and while it's going down it's touching on the, the other side now it has traveled 4.6 inches I will press Y on the keyboard now press your calculator or control K 4.6 is transferred into our calculator divided by 2 enter which is 2.3 now if we push insert key on the keyboard that number is transferred in front of our y-axis and you press enter to confirm so our x and y preset has been done we will move the axis out of the way and similarly you can do uh, your preset again along the z-axis but since we have already done it uh, before so I'm going to keep it the same now the next step is we will store our new part 0 into a new work offset so we click on offsets from the right menu now we can select G54 we already used it before so let's say we want to save it in G55 I bring my cursor down right now the values are 0 and as soon as we press enter while G55 is selected enter the new coordinates the new part 0 has been stored in our work offset now we can select between both so we let's say G55 is has been set if I press cycle start now so G55 is activated now but if you move your cursor over to let's say G54 and press cycle start our new offset G54 is activated so you can activate any offset you like as you see the numbers also changed when we moved from G54 to G55 I will press escape now to get rid of the screen now in case if you want to view the complete list of zero offsets in one table format you can press tables on the keyboard the tables now you see the whole list of uh, zero offset table now in case if you want to modify any of your values any of your work offsets you can do so at this time you can move your cursor around and make any changes so for example if I want to make a change in my X for the G55 I have highlighted this field you can press the calculator we are going to use the inbuilt calculator for this so the numbers are transferred into our calculator I can add or subtract whatever I would like to do let's say I'm doing this enter and then I press insert on the keyboard insert the new values are stored in this G55 now you also see there is another field represented by a triangle so this means if you are trying to do any fine adjustment in any of your offsets along whether it's the X, Y or Z, you can enter 
that correction into these fields. So that will be implemented when you execute the work offset again. You can also see that there is another work offset as G158. We call this as incremental work offset. This offset cannot be edited or modified in this zero offset table. However, this offset can be activated by programming it either in MDI mode or can be added to your part program. So let's go to manual screen. Now first I'm going to move my axis to my current part zero position just to show you how G158 works. So I'm in MDI, I program G54, X0, Y0, Z0, cycle start. All right, my tool is sitting at a current uh, part zero position. Now I'm going to offset my current part zero by one inch along the X. So I will program G158. So I want to offset by one inch. So I would say X1. And let's say also I want to modify along the Y as half inch. Now I do cycle start. Now you can see that my current part zero has been shifted by one inch and 0.5 inch along the Y axis. Similarly, if you want to offset along the Z, you can program G158, Z1, cycle start, it has been shifted as well. Now if I go back to tables to show you what is programmed, now you can see that G158, the, the whole line is green and it has the values we just programmed to offset our current part zero. So now see uh, the whole line is green, that means this is active. In order for us to go back to our original part zero, I will go to MDI and I program G158 by itself. Nothing else uh, uh, in front of it and press cycle start. So now you can see that G158 line is grayed out again. That means it's canceled and our original part zero has been restored. If this tutorial helped you out, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more content. If you have any suggestions for our next tutorial video, please leave comment below. Thank you.